It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to find the surface area with a net, which means we're going to find the area of each figure on the entire net and add them together. So let's look at our problem for today. We have a student that's going to paint the outside of a gift box that's in the shape of a rectangular prism. She will use this net to determine the surface area of the gift box. What is the total surface area in square inches of the gift box? So go ahead and pause the video here, see if you can find the surface area, and then come back and compare your work to my work. Good luck. Welcome back. So we're finding the total surface area, which means we're going to take every rectangle in this net and we're going to find the area and add them together. So we can see that we have the student that has this gift box and they've unfolded it so that they can see each of the rectangles and measure them. They've provided us with the measurements. So we're going to start by understanding that surface area is the sum of the areas of all the faces of the shape. And we can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six shapes. So we have our box and our flaps to seal it closed. So the we can look at this as the bottom and the top and then the four sides. Or you can consider that this is the bottom and the top, two sides, and then the other two sides, however you want to look at it. But they've taken a box, they've cut it apart so that we can see all the parts that come together to form the box. So here's our shape in a bigger size. We're going to find the area of each rectangle. The formula for area of a rectangle is base times height. So let's start with our first rectangle. We can see that our base here is nine and our height perpendicular to our base is six. So six times nine is 54. Our second face is also a rectangle and we can see that our base is two and right here our height is six inches. Six times two is 12. Our third face is also a rectangle. We have a base of 9, I see that right here, and a height of 6. 9 times 6 is 54. Seeing that these, and they should be, right? They're parallel faces when you fold the box. And then our last face going across right here, it should come out to be the same area as this, but let's look. We have a base of 2 and a height of 6. 6 times 2 is 12. Now we have this face right here, which we can see has a base of nine and a height of two. Two times nine is 18. And then our last face, we have a base of nine and a height of two. Two times nine is 18. So now that we have the area of all six faces, let's go and look at our figure and we're going to find the sum of all. So we're going to do 54, add 12, add 54, and then add 12. We're going to take this flap, add 18, and then this wrangle, rectangle down here and add another 18. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six areas for our six faces. When we add these all up, we get a sum of 168. So let's bring that over here. 168, we need to give our units. Our units are in inches, so where area is square inches. So the surface area of this entire box is 168 square inches. And that is how you find surface area using a net. You find the area of each face, add them all together, and that sum is the surface area of your net. And that's the magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you come back soon and have a great day.